Welcome back to Vlogmas, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a brand new video. This morning there was a completely different introduction for this video and we had snow. Now I got up 10 minutes ago and why did I get up 10 minutes ago and suddenly I'm at the yard? Well, it's because it is snowing and it hasn't snowed where I live in years. So I am very excited, I'm really hoping it's going to settle. So I threw on this big fleece and I drove all the way down here and it's definitely not snowing as much here as what it was at home. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this video of uh, a tired girl's snow day. And it's cold it's outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down. Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you I longed for this moment to have you for myself In a cabin I home and the snowflakes I've just driven home and the snowflakes are actually huge here which is kind of irritating because when I say I sprinted to the yard this morning I haven't woken up yet <laughs> anyway it's given me a really good excuse to start this vlog a day earlier than what I was wanting to so I've got some lovely things to do today and do on this vlog I'm gonna go in and have my shower and my cup of tea I've actually just stopped into the bakery and into Tesco Express because I want to make a really nice brunch today I was sent a gorgeous Christmas hamper yesterday which I will show you guys once you're inside and once I'm warm toasty and feeling fresh and I have also done a Zara haul, so why not go through that together today as well? And that was that. That was as much snow 
as we got and now we just have very wet and soggy roads and it's a very damp sort of atmosphere outside. <laughs> I came home, I showered, I washed my hair and I've just finished editing a different video. Now I promised you guys to show you a beautiful Christmas hamper and that's what I'm about to do now. So I was incredibly lucky to be contacted by the gorgeous Cheska Hull, who some of you may know as being one of the original cast members from Made in Chelsea. She contacted me on behalf of Duke's Hill Artisan Fine Food Company to send me a Christmas hamper and here is my Christmas hamper. Now, I did actually unbox this yesterday on my Instagram stories which I'll put a little clip on now because it was beautifully packaged however obviously everything has been already unboxed and somebody has already been into the mince pies and the shortbreads. <laughs> leave this gorgeous hamper linked as well as the main Dukes Hill website as they have so many gorgeous selections on Christmas hampers. So assuming as I've already spilled the beans that there is a tin of shortbreads inside. These are the most gorgeous shortbreads. Obviously tried and tested already. I've had not one, not two, but three. <laughs> but everything comes so beautifully packaged and oh my goodness, they are utterly delicious. And also the Duke's Hill mince pies now. Also have my little mitts in here as well. Only the one because I am having one a day with my afternoon coffee. And that's a rule that I've set myself because otherwise I could sit there and eat the whole shebang. There's also a beautiful bottle of Tanner's Carver. Duke's Hill Stilton and Almond Sables. Inside this gorgeous gift box there is some chalk. Uh, and this chalk is Ginger and Almond Dark Chocolate Mendiants. The Duke's Hill Savoury Biscuits for Cheese. Now one thing that I am incredibly excited for, this is the King's Wiltshire Ham. And this boasts to be the finest traditional cured ham. So excited to honey glaze this and have this with the most delicious mashed potato. Next I have this humongous, gorgeous jar of chicken liver pate. Of course we have some cheese. And this is the Duke's Hill Montgomery Cheddar, traditionally rinded cheddar made using raw milk. The Duke's Hill Boxing Day Chutney. Now there is nothing I love more than cheese and crackers, or even better, cheese and French baguette with lots of butter, camembert, chutney on top, and pieces of thinly sliced chorizo. And lastly in my hamper, to go with the brunch that I was telling you guys I was going to make this morning, which it is now not this morning because I've been working, so it is gonna be a late lunch. My favorite thing in the whole entire world. This is the Duke's Hill Champions of the Artisan Finest Smoked Fish. I'm so excited. I even bought some pesto actually to go with this to fry my eggs in. That is everything that is inside my beautiful Duke's Hill hamper basket. And as I said, I will leave everything linked in the description box down below. Let's go and make lunch and then let's unbox my Zara parcel together. And also, before I start picking breakfast, this has just arrived. This is the new Shreddy Super Greens. It's supposed to be amazing. I know that they're sold out, so I don't think I can link it for you. But I actually bought this last week on Black Friday. It's mango and pineapple flavour and it's actually supposed to be one that you can drink with water and it's actually going to taste nice. So many of them don't and I have to mix them with smoothies. So we're going to try this with our breakfast as well um, because the second that they're back in stock, I can obviously then have already have influenced you to keep an eye out for them if they're any good but these are full of pre and probiotics they're beauty and superfood greens blended they have an antioxidant blend a superfood blend a beauty blend a pre and pro a pre and probiotic blend digestive enzyme blend vitamin and mineral blend 100% of your key vitamins and minerals 62 ingredients and extracts and 5 billion probiotic bacteria the reviews of these have been insane, so I'm really excited to try this. And on that note, time lapse. I woke up this morning. I looked outside my window where children lighting up the Christmas tree and the snow is falling. It reminds me of the good times, those winters we would spend just you and me. It's been such a long time, but tomorrow's Christmas Day, and I am on my way. I'm coming home for Christmas, yes I'm coming home to you. I missed you 
want to spend this day with you. Our brunch was absolutely delicious and I now have my Zara parcel behind me to unbox with you guys. So I did actually order this a couple of weeks ago so I'm hoping everything is still in stock. This blazer. Oh my goodness, let me bring it to the screen. <laughs> this is the most beautiful herringbone fabric, I think, ever. 60 pounds. This is the most timeless, beautiful blazer. At the front, it is single-breasted. This is absolutely beautiful. And really great size pockets as well. I am absolutely over the moon with this. And at 60 pounds for a wardrobe staple like that, I don't think you can go too far wrong. I'd forgotten I'd ordered some of this. <laughs> so next up is some Christmas party dress options. Oh, this one's got shoulder pads. So this is a black velvet cut out dress, maxi length with a slit up the side and also, let me show you, a diamante knot at the front. Absolutely love this. £35.99 and I wear everything in a size small in Zara. Next up we have some sexy lady in red vibes. This one's £45.99. What's neck? I don't know if I'm going to really be able to show you this that well off because it's just a plain dress with a halter neck but it is maxi length, the quality is lovely, we can see the shine in the red as well, it's really beautiful. Very classic, simple design that you can really jazz up with some gorgeous accessories. Love this. This is also £45.99. Look at this dress. This is beautiful. So it's this gorgeous black satin slip dress, obviously with this gorgeous sequin bralette feature. Maxi length, beautiful material. I love this. I don't remember ordering this. This is also 45 99 but automatically this is itchy. <laughs> really not very comfortable. I feel like this might have been a mistake order. Really, really cute um, and obviously really jazzy and diamante. I do really love the fact actually that the back is also embellished with diamante. But because this isn't lined, the diamante sort of studs are gonna dig in and the and the knit itself does feel quite itchy. Next up we have some sequin shorts. I don't feel like these are gonna suit me, but they are ever so cool. If you have a great pair of legs, these are gonna look amazing. How shimmery and cool are these? Love, love, love. And these are $29.99. The next thing I bought was this stunning knitted jumper with a faux fur surround it. It's Bardo Cut, and look at this. I think this is gonna look so classy and just gorgeous. This is $32.99. Look at these. How phenomenal. They're very extra and I don't know if I'd actually wear them personally, but for a Christmas party, for a jazzy kind of boot person, these are it. That was everything that I bought from Zara. I'm gonna put all this away and, and now let's go through some Lumia bits and pieces. Okay, so the first thing I've got for Truly, which is the matching fleecy hood that Ringo wears to bed every night. These are amazing because they just come behind the ear. They don't move at all and they're just so cosy to put under a rug, which is so lovely and cosy and I'm actually really excited to put her in this today. Next up, potentially the cutest things ever is the new pony travel boots. And these are gonna be so perfect for both ponies. So cute. Look, so this is in the color Orchid and they also do come in the new Atlantic color too. I'm obsessed, <laughs> like literally obsessed. Next up is a Christmas present actually for my mum. <laughs> this is also a present for my mum. I've just got her some bits in the spruce collection because that's her favorite color ever. And these could not have come on a better day. And also as well, just to be transparent, this is gifted. It's not necessarily an ad because I'm not being asked for content from this. But anyway, back to these. These are the Lemire Waterproof Light Riding Gloves. These are so warm and cozy. This is what the gloves look like on. And that's them from that way around. <laughs> Just a hand model over here. <laughs> perfect for the winter and also perfect to put on your Christmas list actually. Something else for my mum. And the last thing of this haul, which again, will be living in. <laughs> These are the winter work gloves. Uh, they're thermal, waterproof and protective. Flexible down to minus 50 degrees. Minus 50. Uh, we, I'm, I'm not going to be needing minus 50, um, but I will, again, be living in these when I'm mucking out and whatever. And again, what a perfect day for these to arrive, other than the day where we've had our first day of snow. It's been threatening to snow really all day, to be fair. I think, it, I, re I think to be fair, it's more like sleet at this point, but it's been the odd snowflake. Uh, this morning it was definitely snowing, but then this afternoon it's just grey and damp outside. It's my little haul section of this video over. <laughs> Hope you loved it. <laughs> I'll leave everything down below for you guys. Uh, I'm going to tidy everything up that's now under my feet and finish off some work and then get super, super warm and head to the yard and do the horses this afternoon. Big life regrets. I have been sorting out Instagram stories and it is now dark outside and I haven't done the horses. And it's now that time where it's dark and it's wet and I don't want to do the horses and I've got to do the horses and I love my horses and I love what I do and I love that I have to do this but I also am warm and I'm cosy and it's really not warm and cosy outside and mm, <laughs> please tell me this is relatable content because mm, <laughs> moaning somewhat over. I do have two pairs of new gloves. I've got an Equidry. I've 
I have thermal leggings, I've got thermal breeches. It's fine, I've only got to mark out two stables, fill four hay nets, two water buckets and bring two horses. We can do this. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna bring in and muck out while they're in. Well, I've done a very quick muck out job. Ringo's hay net one of two steaming away. The lights that you can see in the distance are Summerly House actually. And I'm about to try and find my way to Truly. It's very dark, it's 20 to five. Um, oh my goodness, her head collar's gonna be soaking here as well. Not so fun. Um, and it's now just sort of, I don't know really if it's snow, if it's rain. I think it's just sleet to be fair still. I need to somehow try and find Truly. I'm not sure <laughs> where she actually is. She's got two huge fields over here and it's dark. And although she's Palomino and easily spottable, her rug isn't dark navy, so <laughs> really not so easily spottable. I think that could be her. Somebody's walk. Yeah, that's her. Right, I'm going to catch her and um, I will see you guys back when we try on. And I'll see you guys back at the tables when we try her new neck rug on. Hello, my babies. So you all okay? Well, somebody's all warm and toasty and cosy now in bed. And my favourite part about these is this bit here, which is almost like a slight, which is almost like a silky sort of slidey bit, which just means that it easily slides against the mane, doesn't rub the mane. Um, this one's a size large, and obviously she's not quite a size large, and she's not quite a size large, which Ringo is. Ringo fills all of this, so she's got a bit of room in there as well. But yeah, that is how they fit, and they just look so lovely and cosy and toasty. And she's going to be warm and snuggly all night. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh good deed of the day and that is influencing you onto this perfume. I bought it on Amazon and it is unisex. Personally I love unisex fragrances. This is what the packaging looks like. Now this is 100ml of Eau de Parfum and I picked this up for £31. Now sometimes it's more expensive, sometimes it's less just purely because it's Amazon and some days they have deals on and sometimes they don't. I will leave it linked. However, the smell of this perfume is above and beyond. Now if you love vanilla fragrances with, with a slight amount of wood and spice, also because it is vanilla it also has a sweetness to it as well. This Oh my goodness me, this is the sexiest, most sort of boss bitch vibe <laughs> perfume smell that I, I could ever suggest to you. One spritz is all you need for a daytime amount, however, also enough to last all day and to also smell super strong because I do love to smell really, really strong and I don't mind my scent to really stand out and come across. I also do a little spray on my chest and my neck as well. Now, if you like floral and super feminine scents, this isn't for you. This is for the girlies that like to smell really, really expensive, but in a, but in a way of a little bit of masculine energy. If you like the Louis Vuitton fragrances, if you, if you like the Killian Angel Share, I think this is what this has been inspired by. This is phenomenal. It's a really sort of cozy vanilla smell, but with the wood, with the spice, and with the slight masculine side to this. This is the sexiest perfume for under 40 pounds you will ever try. Glass bottle, 100ml, it's absolutely fantastic and would make a beautiful Christmas gift as well. Ding dong, ding, them bells are playing loud and clear. Dong, ding dong, they're saying it's that time. 
Oh my goodness me. So my gorgeous friend Monica, who is at the Monica Way on Instagram, also is co-founder of Mills and Brown. Mills and Brown make the most beautiful journals and diaries and have just recently created this absolute stunning work of art. They come in three different beautiful fabrics and this one here, of course, is the stunning tartan. This is the most beautiful headband I think I have ever seen and I will leave these linked down below. But these are absolutely stunning. Well everybody, I am going to leave this video here. I've just got to the yard and I'm going to muck out the horses and then continue with another video from tomorrow. But I hope you loved this one and I hope you loved today. Hi Dingo, having a bit more of an aesthetically pleasing little day. You've got a little moustache coming. <laughs> Is that your winter beard? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Well everybody, I look forward to seeing you at 5.30 tomorrow. Bye-bye.